Presentations are a really compelling and dramatic communication medium. It's the only one where a person's in person and you can have a very human and engaging interaction with a real live person on a stage. And I realized pretty quickly that this very powerful and very uh, human communication medium was not used effectively or powerfully in the way that it could. And so it, I set aside two years of my life to take 20 years of information and, and put it into the book and try to explain it in a way that can get into people's head and explain the logic behind what makes a really powerful communication medium. And that's why I wrote the book is so that so that people could learn to communicate better as our uh, world becomes more competitive, as our stories become more engaging. I really wanted some of today's history to become indelible in our hearts and minds, and, and that's why I wrote the book. I kind of have two sections that were my favorite. So my funnest section to assemble was actually the diagram section. I had gone through and scanned in all the notebooks of all the employees and cut them into little pieces and laid on, sat on the floor and laid them all out around. I always felt like there was some sort of a code that we use to communicate in business that nobody had ever really cracked this code where we take shapes and assemble them and put them together to, di to talk about relationships and um, interactedness that's undefinable or invisible in business, but we have to use these pieces when we communicate. So about 14 hours after sitting on the floor, I actually saw a pattern emerge where there was like a little language that we use to communicate in business. And that was really fun. After all these years of just doing it, I knew, I knew there was some sort of a, a secret code there that we were all really using, but had never really been defined. So that one was really fun. And uh, the other section that I think is going to mean a lot to the audience is the um, section about how to think like a designer. And that is after my own. I'm not a degree designer myself, but I studied design voraciously. Like I was completely immersed and studied it for years. I took all the principles from design that I've learned and compiled it into this section of the book. And I pulled out all of the best practices in regular graphic design and applied it to visual communications for business. And, and that section I think is very good too. The most significant feedback that I've been getting from the book has been that people are transformed. That's the whole reason I wrote the book. So I wanted to start to create a movement and create change among presenters that the way we've done presentations has just got to stop and we've got to change the way we present. So the feedback that I get has been that they read the book and that the next time they went to develop a presentation, they not only changed their approach, but they also changed the outcome of the presentation and that's the whole reason I wrote the book. So it's been really fun to start to get feedback on the book.